this is the way to do it. Welcome to Youth in Action. In today's program, we have Lynette Nyambura Mushiri, a psychology student at Maseno University, making gold out of plastics and cardboard. Join me to hear more about her artwork. Lynette, this is a unique business. How did you start? Um, I'm very passionate about art uh, from a young age. Uh, back in primary school where I used to like, in, I was interested in braiding. So like after high school I was doing bags. I was making ba bags using the, the beads. So like when I joined campus, I needed an opportunity that uh, all, uh, something that I would be doing an act that would at the same time generate income for me. How did you acquire the skill to have this artwork? Okay. Um, I got the skills from a friend who was doing art. I was interested and she took me through the steps of making the art. You are a full-time student. So how do you balance making your artwork and schoolwork? Okay, for me, I use most of the time my free time. Uh, my free time because I'm... Um, not talented like in in the field so most of the time i'm indoors so i use the, that time to make the decors yeah so what is your motivation for this work okay for me my motivation is i like making art okay that keeps me going it's therapeutic because it's something you have to concentrate and I, at the same time, I get to meet people who are doing different acts, so I get other skills, and at the same time, I'm able to generate an income. Where do you meet these people? Okay, most of the time when I'm doing marketing, or through a word of mouth from maybe a friend uh, tells me somebody does this act, and I will take a step to get to know the person, to get to know like how they do their thing, yeah. Considering the fact that your work is recycled, how does it compare with the industrial work? Okay, first of all, <laughs> like the products I use to make the art, they are, I'm recycling like the cartons, the plastics, so okay, the materials may not be very durable compared to that from the industry because you see like once this carton is exposed to maybe it gets rid on or something gets in a mwagiki unakuta, it's not, it's no longer the same because it's a carton, it's going to absorb and here like unakuta, maybe uki kalia because it's plastic, it's going to deform Another thing, it's a new product, so uh, marketing is a bit difficult because it's different from the ones from the the ones that are being made in the industry, like from the materials, from the design. Mm, uh, so, like marketing, it's a bit uh, tricky because you see, like trying to convince somebody, and it's totally different from the one they are used to. Yeah, uh, but the product is. It's affordable to anyone. Uh, yeah. Okay. What are the challenges you encounter and how do you overcome them? Okay, the first problem and the constant one is like marketing. It's a new thing. So like I have to market it myself. Like maybe now uh, my target here in campus is the students. And some of my friends who are working also support me. And so like the issue is really marketing because now it's a product that nobody and uh, not many people are aware of it so like i have to do like maybe door to door and then the stereotype that comes like uh in to your them you see like i have to still convince them it is not like it doesn't have to do anything with sexuality other thing is um, the pricing the pricing it's a bit 
a bit tricky because like before I was able to come with a standard price it took me a long time yeah this is a startup business for you so what does one need to take into account for this for starting a business okay, for me for me I think being persistent in what you're doing and being consistent like pushing yourself yeah and practicing it because you know like as you're practicing it's at the end of the day you become better in what you're doing uh, and co being committed okay. yeah what about your family and friends how do they take your work okay for my mom my parents are very supportive uh, for the capital uh, sometimes like when they don't have the capital i can call my mom home yeah, and my friends are very supportive they buy my art like when they get the raw materials they keep them for me for me to pick them so i would say they are very supportive mm -hmm. i am many young people out here may not have the know-how mm -hmm. on starting a business even if they have an idea what can you tell them okay for me i think most of the people are scared of how it's going to turn out you know everybody is afraid of failing but at the end of the day everybody like at one point when you're starting something you're scared so i think uh, for me like as scared as you are start like start whatever like you have in mind you don't know how it's going to be and you can't know unless you give it a trail yeah uh, what about your future plans what things do you expect to do in the future? Okay, for me, I have an interest in interior design. Um, I'm hoping like I'll be able to come up with something that's going to be universally accepted, like like I can have my own de interior design shop, something like it's going to be like universally uh, acceptable. When you talk of product price, how much are you selling a piece of your work? Okay, for the, I have like, three different sizes we have the small one the medium one and the bigger one so for the small one it goes for 300 shillings the medium one goes for 450 and the bigger one 600 uh, yeah so if i'm um, to said maybe for example i have maybe a client in Nairobi, i'm selling this parcel uh the one the small one for 300 the parcel cost me 300 to send so like at the end of the day, you see like you're not getting a profit. So it becomes hard to operate like outside Kisumu. What do you need to start making such? Okay, to make this lampshade, you will first need a bottle. Um, but it has to be like smooth, like the upper part. Uh, this bottle is not necessarily used because you see it's very rough. So to start you need like a bottle which is soft like this upper area and then you need to cut it using your scissors. You need to cut the soft area using your scissors then you divide the soft area into different into small small portions like this was initially a bottle then I had to cut it into small pieces and then I shaped them. I would uh, love them, yeah. So take us through the, the whole process. How do you do it? Okay, so for beginners, I have uh, this this cupboard. It's just a carton which I shape into circles. We have the I use most of the time a plate to cut, like to get the circle, and then I use I use a smaller. Uh, plate to cut the inner part then I cut it with maybe I might use a knife or a scissor yeah once I get the shape I use the cell tip to join these are two parts uh, so that it can be stable I use I join the two parts of the carton and then I use tape to make it uh, stick together after that I use this thread i use this thread it's the small the smallest one i use the EOZ people make sweaters from them so i wrap the thread on the 
cut on. So after wrapping the thread, I get uh, a product which looks like this. What do you use in wrapping the thread? I wrap the cotton with the thread mm -hmm. to get, I just roll it patiently. First of all, I have to, I, I have to fix the thread on the, on the cotton by tying a knot. After that, I cut the extra part of the knot with my scissors and then I have to put the Uzi that I've already cut uh, into the middle part and then I start rolling my Uzi without leaving any spaces in between. So I continue doing that until I've covered the whole area of the cotton. Mm -hmm. So I just roll it this way until the whole part is covered. It may take an hour or less compared to the skills you have or how long you have done it. So I just roll it. Yep. So what next after you have rolled it? After I've rolled it, the, 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 it, is, it has three, it has got like three parts. So we have, the next part is this one, like the hearts. I have to roll the Ozzy on the hearts too so that I can get this. You see like initially I had this one but I have to make it look this way. So I have to roll the Ozzy on the on the the plastic. So like I do the same. I first of all um, tie a knot on the plastic. But once I have secured the knot I cut the extra part of it. And then, since this the Uzi is too big to to penetrate here, so I just roll it to uh, a suitable amount of Uzi that's going to be able to roll on the plastic. And then I just roll the Uzi on the plastic so because of this part like this the one i've cut i always push it to the middle to make it neat and then i just roll the uzi round it yeah until like it's all complete so at the end of the day i'm going to get a product that looks like this after rolling the thread it takes approximately maybe 45 minutes or less depending on the uh, how much you have practiced yeah you talked about it having three parts can you show us the three parts okay so the three parts okay can i show you one that is complete it's okay Okay, so this one is the smallest size. So when I talk about three parts, it's we have this area, the, this one, the one I used to suspend on maybe a bulb holder. Then I have this one, this is the cupboard area that that helps me with balancing. This area helps with yeah, balancing, and then we have these ones the lab theme uh, to decos yeah so what about the beads i buy the beads mm -hmm. yeah okay. how long would it take to make something like that for this small size maybe four hours uh, but it depends on when i'm doing it because most of the time i tend to do the this the i do them in parts so as you can see here like i have like these these ones they had things pieces they are a lot so i i make them with like the parts so i can make these ones mini then i do the upper part but a close meet it will take maybe four hours so in a day i can do two or three yeah
what about the color theme? Do you choose it for my for your client, or you choose it? The client chooses the color theme. Okay, it depends on the circumstances. Okay, because I do door to door marketing, so if I have some some samples I am already calling. Uh, the client may want to take the sample, but others will request me, I want this color and this color. So I would say it, de it depends with the preference, like what do they prefer, yeah. Considering the man hour you put in making your artwork, do you think the prices are really... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I don't really think the, the prices is fair but it, uh, since my target audience is like the customers my target is the students i have to make the prices fair for them because uh, a lampshade is like a luxury it's not part of the basic need so i have to make it affordable to to make the product to sell and where do you source your raw material uh, mostly i get them from uh, these the dump site where like they are bottles, the plastic bottles. Sometimes I get them from my friends. Yeah, sometimes I just get them from all over. Sometimes I get them from stalls, uh, from bookshops, the cartons. Yeah. What about the cardboards? Are they just the normal cardboards or a different type? You can okay for me like I there's one that I prefer. Uh, there's one type of a cup that I really prefer because it's hard and it is not easily damaged here. Yeah. So where is psychology and your artwork mixing? What plans do you have for your psychology course? Okay, psychology is a course that helps you interact with people, learn a lot about like how people think, their behavior, and so like with the knowledge I have in psychology, if I'm to set up an enterprise, I'm in a better position to interact with people uh, easily. Like with the knowledge I have in psychology, I'm in a better position. Like if I'm to start an enterprise, I'm going to be able to manage my workers, know like the which strategies or marketing that, that are going to maximize my sales. I think it's going to help me really a lot to start out in the market because I have like the knowledge of how people respond to things and what I can do to improve uh, things and their response. So with climate change at, the, at its peak, how do you think your work will help reduce the effects of climate change because of pollution? Uh, I'm doing recycling, I'm recycling the bottles and uh, my raw materials mostly are from like waste products. So I'm reducing the pollution of the air, you know, most of these plastic bottles, because they cannot decompose, most of the time they end up being burnt, which interferes a lot with the air. And the fact that when the, these bottles, when they are not being used, you feed them like literally everywhere. So with the recycling, I'm able to make the environment cleaner and more healthier. That is such a brilliant idea. I love it. One person's trash is someone else's treasure. Think out of the box and create yourself an outstanding enterprise. This has been Youth in Action. I am Nyangwe Songrenis. This is the way to do it.